every night we head up the road hoping like anything that we don't come across another crash. It's a deadly stretch of road. There have been eight fatalities on the Napier to Taupo section of State Highway 5 in the past year. The spike in deaths is a surprise, but some say some of the blame lies with the road surface. Over the last couple of years I've noticed that the roads are just getting worse and worse. Um, the patches are getting worse and worse. The patches having to be redone again and again. It's just a never ending story. The work needs to be done properly. They'll do surfacing, they'll leave it for three or four days to traffic to run over the top of it. The trouble is when they go in and do that quick repair and, and have to go back again, they're having to still go back time and time again to redo the redo, which is a redo of the redo. Have you been happy with the standard of roading repair over the last couple of years? Um, generally the, work, the workmanship is good. There will there'll always, there'll always be times when we it looks like repairs have failed, but we've had to do them quickly because the weather hasn't been conducive to, to fixing them more permanently. So often we will come in, we will fix something with an intention to come back and fix it properly. So to the public it can appear that we're having a lot of failed repairs. The other thing to note is if a, if a, a permanent repair does fail, then the contract, it's on the contractor to come back and repair it at their cost. Both Postings and Alexander admit the road surface for the 90-minute stretch of highway is no different to other parts of New Zealand, but other factors do make it different. There's a lot of characteristics this highway shares with others. Probably the bit that makes it a bit more unique to others is that it goes through mountainous terrain. Weather conditions can vary completely from what we have down here on the flat to what you have at the top can be contrasting. Serious crashes have resulted in new signage on some highway black spots because excess speed is a major factor. Combined with fatigue, it makes for a deadly combination. So drivers are encouraged to take breaks and enjoy the dock reserves, rest areas and famous trout streams. Hastings District Council has worked hard with Waka Kotahi, the New Zealand Transport Agency, and police to improve road safety. And this holiday period, we'll see an increase in police presence. There have been eight fatalities on the Napier Taupo Road this year, which is the most ever, and 10 serious injuries. This year, the police have a campaign to support people. They'll be travelling the road, they'll be putting speed cameras in, and they'll be ensuring that people are safe while they're travelling the roads. We just want everyone to stay safe this Christmas. We want you to take it easy, just enjoy, get to your destination happily. To our visitors and to our local community, just be safe on our roads. Uh, this is about having a great Christmas and everyone enjoying a wonderful festive season. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.